So I wanted to, I wanted to show off my skills uh, using an amazing still, using amazing base material, a, a delicious beer, and distill it, and then age it as a clear distillate for four years, five years, and then release it as a clear whiskey, showing you know there's there's no hiding behind a barrel or anything. This is the deal, you know. This is how this is. This shows off the cuts. It shows off the still. It shows off the quality of the beer all in one, and shows off the distiller. One important thing is what is in order for him to become a master distiller. I want him to take the product. I don't care what it is, and bring it to the market. And he, when he sells the first bottle, to let me know. So Marco decided and it's classic youth of it, to distill something which is quite different, and it's whiskey. And by the name which you hear it about it, it's called uh, doubled and twisted. This is a moonshiner's terminology. It means it is doubled and twisted means the, the, the whiskey. Moonshiner's double distilled it. That's what doubled and twisted means. Marco chose that name for his product which is very interesting to me. As you can even see it, it fits the double and twisted. <laughs> it's a half a gallon jug. This doubled and twisted uh, is just, it's ridiculous because it's just pure malt. It tastes, uh, it smells like a, uh, almost a, a, like a box of cereal, almost weedy-ish, you know? And then there's also hops. There's a top note of hops. Uh, it's got a, a bunch of different citrus tones to it, and that dark green herbaceousness, uh, uh, spiciness uh, of the hops uh, comes through because there's no oak whatsoever. Well, uh, people like barrel aged whiskey. And so. <laughs> Full barrel strength whiskeys. Well, yeah, people like full barrel strength whiskey as well, too. So that was the direction that I went after that. That's you Marcus' know. flip. I, I like full I barrel strength. I like full barrel strength um, because it shows it's it's like if you're drinking out of the barrel here with us. You know, it's totally cool, and you can always dilute it yourself. You know, add a cube of ice, add a splash of water, add a drop of water. I don't care. It's hard to go the other way. So it's impossible to go other way. Yeah. Well, you know. We wanted to create a, another pr uh, product line of whiskey that was barrel aged and extremely complex. And we thought, well, what are we going to name this? I'm like, well, it, it, it's doubled and twisted. You know, let's do this. Let's bring it back, but let's do the barrel aged version of the DT. So it followed the whole concept. Marco shifted into a second release. It's quite different. These are two, two different worlds. Tremendously different from one thing or another, but the substance is very, very pure mark. We took, we picked 10 barrels of all, you know, a combination of three different lots and blended it together and uh, diluted it down to 90 proof and made the doubled and twisted barrel, barrel version. The, uh, the barrels that we use are fantastic. Um, we use a blend of new oak barrels that uh, give off the classic the classic new oak flavors and uh, used oak, which has been, uh, you know, I, I have, we have friends in the wine industry that, uh, you know, once they use their barrels for Chardonnay, for two or three vintages, uh, it's considered neutral in the wine industry. And because that 13% alcohol can't really pull out any other flavor anymore, and all the big tannins have been sucked out from the, from the wine, so the barrels, you know, they, uh, they want to get rid of them. So what's left? Uh, all the color and all the flavor of the barrel is ready for uh, for us because when you put 140 proof in there, then all those colors get all the that colors and flavors come out. Has the, the power to do that, but wine cannot. The baking spices, the clove, the nutmeg, and and then you have hops. So you have green spices, you got brown spices, you have a ton of different spices in your in your spice portfolio, and then. Uh, You've got the, the, the vanillins from the barrel as well, and then you've got the roasted two-row uh, malted barley. You've got the stout flavors. The stout has six different roasted and toasted barley malts in it. 
the Pilsner is a, a set of hops, uh, some European hops, uh, the two row malted barley is from BC. Uh, and then uh, you've got straight malt, which reiterates the two row maltiness. So it's all over the place. It's super complex. Yeah, it's fun. And it is, it is a, a style that, uh, that I have created through time and experience of running the still. And that's, 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 this is my style.